Have you ever thought about how much data you keep and produce every day, whether it's MP3 files, whether it's emails? This is all unstructured data, and it's growing uh, at a rate faster than databases and transactional data. And that's causing a problem for companies today. How do you easily manage that? How do you gain hold of that data? And how do you store that data cost effectively while still providing access? Hitachi Data Systems is powering tens of thousands of customers today and is well known in the structured data space. But with our new Hitachi NAS platform family and also our Hitachi Content Archive platform, we're helping customers manage their large unstructured data growth as well. Some of the technologies that you can apply to solve this huge data growth problem are technologies like deduplication and compression. Deduplication is taking the same data that say a PowerPoint file that has been saved 20 times or emailed to 100 people, and instead of saving it 20 times, saving it once. Compression is pretty familiar to those of you who've ever used zip or any uh, JPEG format. It takes a large amount of data and then squeezes it down to a very small space. Ocarina Networks, when combined with Hitachi's NAS family, allows customers first to consolidate their data and then tier it to make sure that the data is always available but at the most cost-effective tier. Ocarina Networks, when combined with Hitachi Data Systems, allows customers to squeeze that last drop out of their storage efficiency, allowing them to achieve lower total cost of ownership and really achieve fast ROI. We extract, we, we do object dedupe, and then we apply content-aware compression. And as a result of all of these things, we're typically about three to five times better on compressed data than almost any, any uh, algorithms out there. The partnership between Hitachi and Ocarina allows them to get the capabilities they want in terms of scalability, consolidation, and tiering, but to do it in a very, very cost-effective manner with Ocarina data reduction. The industries and applications that, uh, that we're you know, targeted uh, around is usually around people with a lot of unstructured data. So you can imagine that's people who have a lot of images, or enterprises who have a lot of office documents and PDFs and so on. A great example of one uh, is Rainmaker. They make uh, shows and video games, uh, examples like Ghostbusters, Spider-Man, Barbie, uh, The Nutty Professor uh, are all examples of titles they've, uh, they've driven. They take so much time and storage to make a production. And then they kind of have different vari vari variants around it. They make uh, you know, uh, show for, uh, for a certain country or they make subtitles or they make a different uh, cut of it. And they'd like to keep it all online as their animators continue to work on this stuff. But they can't because it costs too much to keep it online. So what they're using Ocarina for here is to take that data and extend how long they can keep it online by reducing the cost of storing it. So they take some of the, the uh, NAS that they already have and then they're able to shrink it and store much longer periods of time, therefore allowing their animators access to online data. So here's a case where actually the, the benefit is not just cost reduction, but the benefit is actually making their animators more productive. With Ocarina Networks, we're putting Hitachi storage solutions to work. 